All right, the most common question everybody always asks is how long should a training session be? The short answer of it, seven, eight minutes, maybe 10 depending on the dog, okay? Because within that time frame, the dog's not only gonna be physically spent, but mentally spent and probably checked out at that point as well, okay? Um, very easy to go longer, for lack of a better word, um, especially like, Again, I've fucked up plenty of times with Ava just because she can always go, 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 no matter what. Because I can go with her 10, 12, 15 minutes. She takes a break for 30 seconds. Next thing you know, she's ready to go again. Physically, she can go. But mentally, I already know she's not going to be all there. She's not going to be as sharp. Okay, because um, we just did three, four minutes right after this. Or I'm sorry, before this. And right then, because she's using a high ticket item, which is her red ball, which I'll show you. And that shit is her crack. She will go ape shit. And she does a lot of anticipation moves. It's not what I call, but she starts anticipating because we've worked so much on certain default um, maneuvers, um, tricks, whatever you want to call them. That she just starts guessing what I want, rather than being sharp and accurate. She just starts... Ace is doing something. I guess he smells something up there. Um, so seven, eight minutes. Um, I will even go on a flip side of it. How short should a train session be? Even just one, one minute. That is it. One minute. As long as it is perfect. I used to watch Elliot Hulse a lot. So here's a quote that I think he got from Ralph Walter Emerson, whatever the dude's name is. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson, excuse me. Every action is measured by the sentiment it precedes. So again, if you even do one trick, even with just an ice cube, because if your dogs like my dogs, every time I go to the ice box, they come out and they want to go race because they want an ice cube. Even if it's for one trick or one little obedience move, if all your attention and detail and focus and intensity is placed into that one move and everything is perfect, Jackpot, baby. You hit 21, that's it. Got the monkey, end it. Nino talks about this a lot in some of his training stuff. So if you really wanna get sharp on um, focusing and paying attention to detail, um, anything like that, he really gets into the psychology of not only just the dog, but also the trainer. Um, go check his shit out. He's all over Instagram, so it's easy to find him. Uh, but I found this, even with me, uh, when I go along, my attention to detail, my focus is lost. I think it was one of the training videos I was doing a front focus heel with Ava. For whatever reason, she just kept going off to the side of me, like she was cutting me off. It wasn't until after I realized that my arm was getting out far and next thing you know, she was just following the ball and her line of sight went that way. Uh, but again, same thing if you're training multiple dogs and going to work, doing everything else, your other home responsibilities, your own focus and detail can lack, and next thing you know, it's gonna affect the dog as well. So, how long your training session should be? Seven, eight minutes. Make sure it's perfect. Again, the power of everything has to come through your intent. Okay, it doesn't matter if you do it. If you're just training just to train, but none of it is sticking and none of your focus, you're off wondering what's on TV later, or your boss is an asshole, you're picking a fight with your girlfriend or boyfriend, then it's not really training. Put your focus and attention into what you're doing. Even if it's for a short period, one or two moves, they hit it perfectly, boom, jackpot, done. Because they're gonna remember that, fucking fly, um, more than anything else. All right, good luck, have fun, talk to you next time.